Hello, how are you doing? I tried to put an idea in today. Well, I think you know the deal by now. Now, you all know the deal. I'm gonna pick a character out of the two characters we have left. Now, who are we gonna play with? Mr. Edward Hyde, okay. I kind of wish that he was last. Because that would be so great. I really hope Hyde shows up in this. Okay, so he's gonna show up when the screen shows up. Wait. Hi! How are you? Hey. <laughs> Hi. Hi. <coughs> there you are. You just had to do that. You just had to get that out of your system, didn't you? <laughs> well, you know me. You know how I am. Yeah, 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 you little trickster. All right, let's get started. Three, two, one. Oh, yeah. That Hi, we were checking out your house. My house. You know, you mean the house that, um, Jekyll's supposedly assigned for me. Yes, that one. So, ho, this place always gives me the chills. It's not a place for people like me. Mm -hmm. I love the keys. But it can't be helped in order to find the key. I must steal myself from the stand with horns on my way. Oh, three to five. So shall we turn up to up the angle to the war, making values a more ality, green and pink, faster the respiration, a more lenient action to give the real. It was the duality and during the Victorian era. It was the strangest place, but the battery was also once widespread. Hmm. Very interesting. Right, we're supposed to be looking for high sound. We're supposed to be looking for high sound. Oh, yeah. you, know, you mean that dingy little... Oh, crap! I forgot about that old woman. A woman, I think she looks fine. Wow, you really do have a broken leg. Don't you, hide? Have ever since I realized myself. You wanna be the old one? Why not? <laughs> Excuse me, this is Mr. Hyde. I mean, expect the newcomer in Scotland Yard. This is Mr. Edison, who is helping me with the investigation. Yes, this is Mr. Hart. But it's not a home right. Can you speak inside for a moment? Yes, please come in. Okay. Can we ask for anything? Nope. Okay. Come inside my oven. Oh, okay. Mr. Edison, please be careful. The painting on the wall could be evidence, since we have to track down at an art dealer. Oh, the show looks to be highly valuable. Why, yes it does. I don't know much about the art, though. So. Is this painting, this painting of a protagonist from a famous play? This is what an amazing painting. It's an irony that a murderer owns such a religious painting, but I must be quite sophisticated. I don't know. He... I'm just curious how much you spent on that painting. In, a, in the 19th century Great Britain, there was a great deal of discussion of religion and liberty. Many artists used their specific historical scenes and these depictions were great. Um, excuse me, um, I don't think I brought such a... Look at this mess! Yay! And these clothes have been scattered all over the place. Maybe he was in a hurry to find something? That I was. You'll find something else later. There was also high quality clothes. Think for the gentleman we were A gentleman who committed murder. Do you know we have to search around all the clothing shops? Right. With the Industrial Revolution, the textile and an industry advanced greatly in fashion. Modern day men's fashion, and this is where in Britain is facing the outfits of men during the Victorian era. Oh, yeah, that's right, and that's why I love how they look so much. How much do we have? Oh, we have a lot to go. Okay. That, that's something useful, though. I don't think so. You could do These are some luxurious hats. Yes, they are, but how bad is only sold in the, of the highest reputation? So the edges are worn out. You think that these clues can be listened to Mr. Hyde? 
Maybe we'll find something to investigate every hat shop through. Oh, but that would take a long time. There are many hat shops without stores in London. He's done cool things, like a beast, but still cares about men. Wait. Did I call myself a gentleman? A apparently so. <laughs> It was etiquette for both men and women to wear hats and even have hot hats for the default fashion for the middle and upper class men. I find it rather interesting that I think of my But to be honest, what determines such a thing? Society? And what determines sight? I don't know if I want to answer that. Okay, let's talk to our woman. Do you remember when Mr. Hyde was here last? Uh, Mr. Hyde came home last night and went out an hour late. It's getting very regular, so he's not home very often. Regular? He? he hadn't come home for that for two months, so I haven't seen him. I like this one. The orphan's calling me up. Oh, Mr. I must have done something worth as he done. Yeah, he's been involved in many scandalous cases. He does not appear to be a very good man. Ooh, I guess this could be that. You have any last to do with Mr. High Field? Go ahead, please. I will meet you there myself, but as you can see, I'm not a fan. Please, I insist. Okay. Not even the butler and the high class knows who are best. Oh, she's, she's a but the butler, that's why she wants. We can find a train ticket, yay! Okay, let's go to your room. Oops, the door got stuck on the broken floor when we opened it. Oh, no type of floor is destroyed, you need to hide the gate. I'll try moving the door. Please step back. Let's try to get the one. Cool. Ooh, we haven't done this sort of exercise in a while. Let's break down the door. Break it. Break it. Come on. Come on. You can break it. <clears throat> there. This is the head of the game. This is chick. But never mind. Never mind. How fun are you stop? Oh, Miss Jefferson, this is crucial. Uh, I didn't mean to speak. I didn't mean to speak. Nothing I say will be in a court of law, will it? You obviously don't know much of my law of that case. I'm kidding, I know. But I wanted to point that out. It must be the top part of the kingdom that was found at the street. You even left the murder weapon behind. He must have been in a hurry if he left this evidence. Now, give me the capture. Good luck! <laughs> the other half of King is coming to Christ's house, and your other son gave his king to drop the check on his head. According to the evidence and testimony, it looks like Mr. Hyde is the one who kills for Daniel's career. Is that my face? Oh, yes, it is. I, I like. Of course you do. <laughs> All right, now where do we go? Oh no, we have to go in here, don't we? No. No. Also, jewelry could have been stolen. <laughs> Good point, my dear. Is it over? Okay, let's talk to the woman again. We must create a one. We need a picture for that. Hmm. But it looks like there are no pictures of this time. This house. Cool, a reason. Oh, do you think there's a picture of Mr. Hyde in the house? I'm not sure. I don't seem to have any friends or friends, so I don't think he has any pictures. That's obviously kind of sad, Hyde. Oh, I have all the family I need. He might have burned all his pictures as well, and not the draw portraits and posters. And do you remember his face? <laughs> <laughs> Nobody remembers my face. Even if they look me straight in the eye. There is one thing always leaving. Mm, so I guess I can get you to subscribe. 
I can only remember the space was just full. Yeah. This is going to be hard. Uh, describe somebody with a name but not a face. Thank you for helping with the investigation. Thank you, Mr. No problem. It looks like we are done here. I'm going to head home. Please let me know if you hear anything about it. My people are deeply connected. You know that your damage is true. His relationship with Mr. Hyde and his name. Mr. Hyde has disappeared. I'm worried. He may not have a good gesture. If you're ready to applaud, it's time to fly. Wonder if he's at home. Okay, if I need details, I'm just. Five thousand, oh my! Of Mr. Hyde's appearance, all the witnesses describe him as unpleasant poor. As they should, I'm literally dripping evil here. I need to go see Jekyll. Right, okay, Jekyll. Oh no. Bolton Street. Okay, thank you. Jekyll told me never talk about Mr. Hyde again. But, you know. Wait, is there any conversation? I'll stop by the market for today. Anyone need a <laughs> Anyone for conversation, you know, just a little bit. Chitter chatter. No. I swear to God, I swear my honor them don't with that. Oh, that's a little harsh, don't you think, Jacob? What, am I in your head or something? Look at that face. Oh, there's Mr. Poole. I haven't seen him in a million years. Poole, I'm sorry to visit this place. Oh, Mr. Utterson, please come in. Master is in his lab. I'll take you there. I bet he is. He always shuts himself in that lab. Thank you. I'm serious. He spends 24 hours in that thing. It is like his second home. Okay, you want to come down by the fire? Excuse me, how is fire calming? It destroys buildings and such. Well, the warmth, uh, the flickering of the flames is very relaxing. Ah, whatever. Mr. Jacob Flap, are you ready for a hard fight? Me? I'm ready for a hard fight. Me? Sure. Ooh, chemical. What could we make with those? You can make anything with including a certain boy. Oh, I, I love the graphics on the wall. Yes, I do find it quite hilarious, although... Kept his... Fine, he is quite sick. Look at him, look at that sunken. Jekyll, are you coming in? Why don't you be Jekyll? You're bait. You're sure. You don't look so well. He does look. He does look a little. No, it's not. I seem to have caught a cold. If you stick it up in this place, you don't want anything. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not that. Mmm, it's a little cold. Listen, could you add some wood to the fire? I don't even have the strength to move him. Jekyll doesn't seem to be feeling well. Oh, I wonder why. Hmm. Hold up. I'm sorry for making you run so scared. Oh wait, this device is unusual. I would use in the electrochemical refinement of matter. Let what? This method is easier than using traditional chemical means. And what's that? It's an experiment to test phenomena which occurs at different con eh, concentrations. I really don't understand science. The advancements in the field of chemistry are being made so quickly, it's no wonder they cannot keep up. True statements. Are these tools for chemical experiments? A power trip laboratory building was so really useful. A previous owner in here to the building from a surgeon. So the building has a classroom and a dissecting room. I'm a medical doctor, but that has nothing to do with why I decided to use this building. When I first looked at it, I just thought it was perfect. We used as a chemical laboratory. I see. 
He seems to have worked out for everything since I'm doing chemical leaks. So what kind of research are you doing? You want to understand, even if I don't. Isn't it dangerous to use chemicals like this? I would do it away. My use of the high quality equipment means that I am always safe. <laughs> uh, oh, Jekyll, now you are doing a darn lie. Now you are lying to yourself. Come on, I know when people are lying. Come on. I'm glad you knew that. Please tell me if you click on the. Dang it! I wanted to click on the mirror. Man. Aw, oh, man. I'll check out Jekyll's. You know what? I can't resist. Oh, 19th century. Chemistry is made of a great advance in the of the Victorian era, laying the modern foundation for modern chemistry. Scientists from Great Britain helped the advancement of many aspects of, chemi of chemistry, including atomic theory, discovery of new elements, and electrochemistry. More advanced techniques and more accurate equipment meant that new substances could be discovered and produced. Jekyll, which is like the effort of virtue respect. He's a large book in the year. Okay, Dr. Jekyll made his life for a surgeon. There were traces of his previous own. Dr. Jekyll was first finished reading medicine, although that is his focus. Right, there we go. Oh, you heard about the incident, yes? Who has it in London? Hmm, everyone is talking about it. Oh, I'm sorry, I that's your bot. No problem. I could hear it even in my dining room. The funny thing is, I'm hearing everything that's happening. Oh, I wonder what I'm saying. I can hear it even in my dining room. The older I get, the more I worry. There's one thing I want to talk to you about, Jekyll. Sir Damage Crew is one of my clients, just like you. So I must know the truth. You are not hiding that murder, are you? Yes. <laughs> Well, it's complicated. Oh, others. I s oh my gosh, look at that face. I swear to God, I swear on my own, I'm done with that. Really, I am done. Really, Jekyll. You can't exactly be done with me. Then it's an impossible thing. You know it. He's a murderer now. I don't. He could be more than toys. Oh, what? Were you thinking that I will be something more, something less? What did you expect from someone who doesn't have much uh, self control, a bad temper? I mean, some self control, but you get the point. I have a really bad temper. What did you expect? Oh, if those atrocious things, and those atrocious things will happen. And you won't hear them this hard Look at that face, he doesn't even believe you. You're lying to yourself. And, uh, and Edison doesn't even believe you. Don't you trust that man too much? If there's a trial, your name will come out. There's a reason why I can't assure you. There won't be any more problems. That on the table is proof. A letter on the table, eh? Where? Okay. Hmm. I'm not sure. Oh, sorry. I'm not sure if I should show that letter to the police or not. Is this a letter from Mr. Hyde? Yes. I think it's best if I leave that letter to you. I believe you'll be able to make the right choice. You will. I will. Wonderful. You're not afraid. I must either be arrested because of this letter on you. No, I don't care what happens to that man. Um, excuse me. If I die, you die, you damn wet. I'm just afraid that my name will be dragged into it because of the terrible. Hmm. Then I'll read this letter first. Oh! Alright, here we go. One, two. One, two. I'm coming for you. Three, four, better lock your door. Five, six, get your crucifix. Seven, eight, it's too late. Nine, ten, you'll be here again. Hi, you're not even technically evil. You're not even te- Oh, okay. 
You're getting you're getting better character development. Where's the what? You still didn't think I was not a mischievous bloke. That's part of my character, I am mischievous. That doesn't make me any more or less evil because I'm mischievous. <laughs> Sorry for making you worry, I did a bit of Oh wait, this is me! I'm oh, sorry for making you worry. I've been a, a, be, a beneficiary of Dr. Jones Kites for a long time. I'm sorry. I haven't been able to repay I have a safe and reliable way to escape. You don't need to worry about me anymore. And why? Why do I have a feeling that Jekyll Rope is himself in my right? That sounds awfully suspicious. That doesn't sound like me at all. Well, after reading the letter, I feel a little better. You have the envelope? I happened to burn it without thinking much of it. There was no post. And someone delivered it to me in person. You liar. Then may I have to try to investigate more? Oh, of course. Like I said earlier, I believe you. I believe you'll make the right choice. I, can, I can't trust you. Who can trust yourself? To be honest, I mean, you're the worst situation. But who really can trust himself between the battle of the spirit and the flesh? Very well, I should be leaving since it's so late. Farewell, us. Bye. Oh, I'm not feeling So I can't see you out. Don't worry. Don't, don't, do not worry yourself. Rest well. Right, all done. It talks about how he was a benefit of the other, but that does not make the way that it's safe. Oh, Jekyll, there's no more thing I want to ask. What is it? A section in your will about the disappearance? Did Mr. Hyde threaten you to make you write that? Yeah, that question. Mm. Yes, yes. I knew it. He planned on killing you all along. Uh, uh, well, <laughs> really, I didn't plan to kill him. I mean, if he was dead, I would be dead, so... By technicality, I didn't plan on killing him. I planned on, um, muffling him. Honestly, that's not the problem. I found something, I found out something more important. Huh? Oh my god, Anderson, I learned something very good. What are you talking about? You're very ill, you better rest. I'll be leaving now. Um, are you okay? Dr. Jacob was, was written under a dress. I'm sorry, it's a dress. Oh, hmm. I may sound foolish. What is your biggest concern? Isn't it obvious? My honor. Oh, Jack, think what people would say about me. The deepest fear in the history of mankind you fear about. Well, well, well. Your reputation. Dr. Jekyll, the philanthropist and the religious man, is involved with a horrifying murder. I mean, fair point. Dr. Dribble is afraid of his name being tarnished by connection to the horrifying incidents. Is there anything more? Anything more, anything less? Mm, I don't think so. What the? Bye, Pete. <laughs> Alright. Any servants? Anything else? Let's try, oh, Mr. Farewell, Mr. Addison. Thank you, Paul. Good night. Oh, you know, Jekyll told me something, someone bought him a letter from him. Did you see that person? A letter from Master? Nothing was delivered except the usual post. And we got no letters today, only packed. Understood, thank you. Please take care of Dr. Jekyll. Yes, Mr. Addison, farewell, sir. Jekyll lied, Jekyll lied. Oh, what else could he have done in that situation? I mean, come on. Cut him from slant here. Oh, believe me, I'm cutting him a lot. Right, should I go to the other son's mansion so we can speak? Ah. The fire, of course. Ah, Mr. 
time, man, so look at the devil, or the leather devil himself. He didn't deliver the devil himself. He must have. It could have been written in Jekyll's room. It could have been written in Jekyll's room, probably. I have to be more careful. First, I'll have to call Mr. Guest. He knows how to analyze your handwriting. Mr. Guest, alright. But he acted as if he was trying to make a hold of his honor or his life. That is rather suspicious, isn't it? I don't know what much they would say, Mr. Honor, if the letter to go to Jekyll, telling him to worry about it, Mr. Peter. Did that open up? It's I was the same, Mr. Guest. Yes, Sir Dennis proved that the case is tragic. Yes, it is. It was sudden, shocking, sir. It must have been done by a horrified man. I called you because of that man. Oh, goodness. It's a letter from the murderer. A letter from the murderer? Yes, it's just between us. I don't know the handles. Compare. Mr. Hyde is nowhere to be seen. But the letter is good. Anyway, please take a look at the letter. Analyze some handwriting is your area of, of, of expertise, correct? Do we have an. Ah, oh, yeah. Does they do it? Indeed, it is. And he starts. The handwriting is needed. But it is very strange. You see, how it leans to the left, that's not a common way of writing. Right, isn't it strange? Hmm, is that an invitation from Dr. Jekyll? Yeah, I know it's not writing. May I take a look? You want to see? Yes, go ahead. So much, thank you. Oh. Mm -hmm. Did you find out anything? Well, one month later, I like how it says months. Yeah, 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 sheesh. Ooh! Something is right, I have to check it out. What did I, what did we get, what did we get? Ooh, Mr. Gish should be able to compare handwriting. And the hand, handwriting of both letters is very similar. Apart from having the name of the book, is practically identical. Handwriting analysis is usually to put up in salt, to solve crimes in all disguise their handwriting. People, people, men. Yeah. In different way or exaggerate they like it. Oh, that's very interesting. Ah, okay, let's see what came in the mail. After the day of murder, he vanished without a trace. It's been quite it's been quiet lately. Mm, and there isn't much in the newspaper. It's like Jekyll said, Hyde must have left London. <clears throat> but I just can't say to be nothing. Of course, that's not what your job entails, is it? I need to visit the locals who are the incidents or the incidents Mr. Hyde called took place. Hmm, what's wrong with me? I didn't put my money in my wallet. Let's see. One pound is 20 shillings. One shilling is... Really? This is interesting. Take a picture of the music. One guinea is 21 shillings. A half crown is 2 shillings and 6 pence. I can remember that at least. That's a lot. I mean, you learn it since birth, so... I'm afraid that I might get small stuff as I get older. A pound, shillings, and pence would be used as a currency used during the Victorian era. Most people use coins at various denominations. But then money began to be used commonly. Common coins are all of ascending value. Commonly used include the half farthing, farthing, half pence, penny, two pence, three penny bit, four penny bit, six pence, shilling, four and half crown, crown, half sovereign, so sovereign, and guinea. Most coins are made of silver or bronze for the higher value coins of gold. Hmm. 
wonderful. Oh. Mm. Seen the cross brings me clear. Jake will also go to church, thankfully. Usually he has been willing to continue his charitable works. Once, once these horrifying incidences were over, I would like to speak to him about the Bible like he used to. Ever oh, that's sweet. I guess. Doctor, careful with the face left. And again, what out is it about for him to live a busy life with a couple of servants and children? Okay, where am I going? Now I actually... Wait. Now I... Now I actually need to review... Okay. I need to visit the locations where the entity is to cause the place. Okay, so... So that would mean you would have to go to Blind Alley first. Can I talk to anyone today? Boy, it's been a month and you're talking about the same thing. No offense. Hold up. Hang, hang on. I, hold, hold up. I want to check this out. No, okay. Hello. You are a little early. Oh, what are you doing? Who is Dennis and how have you been? I was working here on Master's Wars. Dr. Jekyll's Wars? Yes, he said Master applies about the charity gala in a few days. Oh, I see. Oh, how's this Dr. Jekyll treating you? Master? Oh, he's very good, Jack. He's been keeping us busy. I'm afraid we might even be overburdened. But I'm glad it's better. Well, that's a little That reminds me, Dr. Jekyll home. I oh, was out of the moment busy doing church. Not for long. <coughs> it's probably in the square, but there are lots of people. Oh, I see. Thanks for letting me know. Please find me if you ever have any problem. I have to check out those lot of charity that goes around. Alright. We do have to visit every location. Is that a lot of locations? Okay, you murdered near the river. Okay. Hmm? I believe there was a murder here a few months ago. It's peaceful, fuzzy, and pleasant atmosphere. I know, Carl. Do you have anything to say? No. Ooh. No. No, but nothing here. Alright, there was somewhere else. Uh, okay, there was Hyde House in Soho. Oh. Who is that? Someone brings you here. I was curious about the investigation. Mr. I can't be found anywhere, but well, I wonder why. The weeks following the murder was so chaotic. How is it now? Since that man does appear, it looks like he took all the evil with him. <laughs> the number of violent crimes and murders has dropped. The streets are cold now. Hmm, I see good news. But please let me know if you hear anything about it. Yes, I will. Thank you. I tried to find the scene. This is murder and the scene for calm down. Would you like to visit every location? Ah, uh, shoot, why not? I mean, we have all day. <laughs> the murder was so recent. How can everybody be so alive? Oh, yes, it's almost Christmas. <laughs> I hope something will be having a Christmas. Well then, what is it all? It's really not with me. Hold up! Wait. I want to check out the pub first. Hi, Jekyll, please be there. Please be there. When I come back out, because probably we all kind of jump in this pub. Hello, you want to talk to me? Hello, hello. I can see dead, but then I see this pub is fine. When Mr. Hyde is in service, the place will be five years it is now. Blah, blah, I can feel his presence. I don't believe in superstition. 
What do you mean by his presence? That unpleasant, merciless, cold presence. He came here a couple more times after his first visit. But he hasn't shown up for six months. Then can you tell me if he will appear again? His name is Hyde, Mr. Hyde. Mr. Hyde. Spears, too. Mr. Hyde cannot be found in this club. Oh, we are seeing him turn around. I should have been. What's that in your office? Well, she's not wrong. So Mr. Hyde cannot be found in the club anymore, I do. Ah! Wait, yep, it's a. Oh, so that. A real much I think I should be able to help you with that. Oh, thank you. Don't let God bless you. Well, you look chipper. Much better than a couple of months ago. Oh, I don't know what to you. Mm, sorry. Chipper, you look good. <laughs> I'm just... Excuse me, but that's not like my kind of laughter. No offense. Ha! I'd a lot to help out with the church and do more church. Looks good to take care of you. You're very sick recently. So, you are with the ultimate Mr. Hyde, right? Of course. Who do you think I am? You always worry about others too much. Actually, you don't worry about others enough. Please take care. Thanks for worrying. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to stay at dinner soon. I'll let you know the details. Yeah, I'm sure you will. The street is more like this because Mr. Hyde's disappeared. Well, maybe one is Christmas. Everyone's so happy. Jacob, please stop it. It does not fit you. That they must have forgotten about the evil man. I'm glad then. Don't forget to tell me the date for the dinner. Very well. See you next time. Because I put the chair to work. You're going to disappear. Dang it. Two weeks late? Ooh. Dr. Jekyll does a lot of truth. Oh, mail, the mailman, the mailman is here. Dr. Jekyll lived in peace for over two months. Two months? Miss Harrison, is it with Dr. Jekyll? Oh, thank you. Oh, you may go now. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> thank you. Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. Jack got down and broke his crown and Jill came tumbling after. I'm planning to invite. No introduction, Jill. Come on, you just go straight to business, don't you? Yeah, I kind of agree. I'm planning to invite some friends to get together for dinner on the evening of the 8th of January. If you are out busy, please come by. I would enjoy talking to you from your friends and get Jacob invited me to dinner. I'll take one of my best bottles of wine with you. <laughs> Jekyll and Paddy's friends and acquaintances to a dinner party. It would be nice to take a bottle of wine with a gift. Jekyll seems so energetic. Ah, uh, I bet he is. Hmm. His French wife should be good. People will like it as well. I'm so glad. You shouldn't be. Well, during the 19th century, disease and economic co concentrations meant that the already limited wine making in Great Britain became less popular, and British wine was not widely available. Most of the wine was imported from countries such as France, and as far away as Australia. So it's like French wine. So. Okay. Where are the new vineyards? Producing Prize winning vintages. What? Which was often too poor in the evening. So. Right, okay. Am I going to Dr. Jekyll's house or something? What am I doing? I guess I am, okay. Let's go to Dr. Jekyll's house on Bolton Street. It's a bit of us. Oh my gosh. You said you were. Wait, it is big, generally. Oh, I'm an idiot. No, you're not. Can we look in our oh, tables? Hello, Paul, how are you doing? Oh, it's good to see you. Jiggle's doing okay. Have you read? 
You lose mermaids around the world in 80 days. Of course, I know it's just an awful, but some bucket does not seem like an infeasible task. It definitely is. It's only been decades since it was out. It's cute. Hmm? Do you think it's possible to go around the world in 80 days? It's impossible. It's only possible in the novel. We must be able to. We have some tricks coming from the railways now. Some that ain't cutting it. You are too pessimistic. Maybe. Sure, it's possible, don't you think? Fine, I knew it. I would like to try it sometime. Jarderson, you should have a dream like that, too. Around the World in Eight Days is a Victorian novel written by Jules Verne and published in 1873. The novel portrays the advancement in shipping and transportation. And it debates about whether such a certain circum navigating the world for the days is possible. Right, hello. Sir, have you read <laughs> oh, I love this. I heard it's the most sensational book since this Treasure Island. I'm sorry, but I don't read so dramatic fiction. Maybe you haven't read The Body Snatcher or The Oral or Hunter. Yeah, I don't. I don't read books that you aren't scientific or too old or too poor. But sir, if you don't read novels, just these men I believe you have to think about. How about giving them a try? Next time, I'll try next time. Why do I have a feeling that Robert Louis Stevenson was the writer of the Victorian era? His major works include Strange Case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde and Treasure Island. He wrote novels and various things. Of course I know who that guy is. Huh. I knew that he was right to me, but I wonder if he's a friend of Jekyll's. You should know the answer to that. I'm not telling you. Of course you're not, of course you're not, you're all Mr. You're all Mr. Um, mysterious. Hello, Jekyll. Did you snap the gl GLaDOS snap me over there or something? Wait, did I just say GLaDOS? Well, here we are again. I meant... <laughs> you mean Thanos. Yes, I do. Look, Landon is here as well. He decided to stop arguing and, and you can file. I want to say you were late. We were talking about how the three of us used to get together all the time. We have good old friends. But you have all confirmed this long friendship with Mr. Utterson and Dr. Land Land Landon. I keep saying Landon. Anything else? Oh, are you leaving already? Why don't you stay for the longer? Let's talk more. Oh, well, we have all night. Really? It's too late. I should be gone. I'll stop the next one. <laughs> all right. We'll see you out. Good night, Anderson. Good night. Okay, is there anybody else I can talk to? No, just go. I'll talk to you. Nope. We have to go. Come back. Oh, hello. Good one. Thank you, cool. Why did the atmosphere suddenly change? A uh, change? I don't know, but I love it. Mr. Jekyll, don't Dr. Anderson. As soon as evil Mr. Hyde disappeared, Jekyll couldn't knock. Oh, knock? Oh, did you just evil Dr. Mr. Jekyll? Come on! You wrote a freaking novel, and you can't even tell the names apart. Oh, shush. <laughs> The little slip of the tongue cat got your tongue. Oh shush! As soon as, as soon as the evil was your eye disappeared, Jekyll had a new lease on life. Jekyll left his room and started meeting with friends. I wonder if he's telling the story to Marvel Blue Stevenson and he wrote like a tribute or something to his friend. A little head cannon I have, by the way. I visit the people frequently as well as inviting them to visit them. Now he tends church and his charitable work more often. He seems to be doing he seems to do volunteer work sincerely and almost has a smile on his face. Dr. Jekyll with the peace. For over two minutes. Ja. 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 Oh no, the male boy is back. Is he going to meet someone? 
You? Oh, it's you. Look what you brought for you. I love this relationship, by the way, between the postman and the devil. You never can see this. Ooh. Have you thought about what we discussed last time? Well, I guess you can even do that. It's not like it will help me make money, is it? You know, I've thought about this for a long time. Can I obtain true freedom? I think, by the way, he's talking that this is like before the experiment when he's getting all the material to before this whole transformation began. Because, according to his attitude, he's quite calm. So he is rather calm for being in this situation. I've managed many things starting from that question. Think about it. If the conflict of good and evil no longer bothered us, and we can live a life as two separate human beings, you'll be able to unburden ourselves. Remember what I said about the gold last time? Yes. If you sold the gold, your good ego might have terrible regrets. But what if your good ego is blissfully unaware of it? What if it's a secret of your evil ego? I thought about it more deeply. This that was the beginning of my research. Uh, oh no. I mean, I think it's brilliant. It's absolutely amazing. Maybe because it's been you've been in the fandom for like two years and you've constantly been chewing on it and thinking about it. Yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe. I'd say amazing. Ha! As a result of my long contemplation and experiments, I may be a physiologist by venturing into psychology too. Of course you have. Hmm. If the two egos can be separated. Well he looks he looks as confident as an anime character. I kind of agree with you, actually. That's a very anime-ish pose. <laughs> Can't be separated from two independent beings. I kept thinking about how to separate those two. I must have talked too much on my own. Taking up your time was exactly my evil, evil, evil ego's doing, though. <laughs> That's it for today. You may go now. Bye. This newsboy's like, can I go deliver stuff to Dr. Jekyll? I want to do it. Chapter 4, Familiar Ending. We have only one more chapter to go. So this is where I'll leave it right here. No, you're going to do suppression. I want to see this. I want to see this. Oh, we're controlling Jekyll. Ooh, we're controlling. He has some experiments to separate man's good and evil egos. Right, what am I doing? Another fear engulfed me. Ha! Huh. Understood. Goodbye. I wonder if we'll see others though. Hmm? Yeah. I've been suppressing the search for a long time. I've been doing more charity work than usual. Ha! Huh. No one doesn't sound as interested in being charitable as that me. Everyone's so foolish, lazy, and heartless. Uh, that's right, you can't be compared to me. A little pride, maybe. Excuse me, Jekyll. That's my territory. I'm your pride. I'm your arrogance. I'm everything that's negative. You're getting to my territory now. No wonder you. Well. Who? Expect the reputable sons. I can make my donation. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, uh, I'm dizzy. What's this? Are you alright, sir? Run. Hey, no way. I have to stop it, not here. Three, two... Oh, this is terrifying. Right. Oh my, that's just a real life. Here, please call here. This is the famous place. Let's get it.
Jericho felt dizzy while it saw him. But Jericho looked like a good man, but he was arrogant. Again, my territory! Do you have anything to say for yourself? What happened to them? <laughs> well, together, I have to control it. If not, no, I can't hold on anymore. Come on, control comes to the price. I mean, two months. That was impressive. I transform with other medicine, darn it. I must go to the human seas. I mean, I was asleep. Make the medicine by following the recipe within the time limit. Oh! Got it, okay. I got it, I got it, okay, okay, I got it, okay, okay. Powder, big, okay, I think I got it. Okay, powder, big things, kind of smallish things. Oh no, this, and this strange crystal. Oh, I completed it. Great. Beautiful green. Yeah. This stuff is disgusting, by the way. It's there. Uh, Something must be wrong with the medicine. Nothing's happening. Calm down, it's not possible. I don't make mistakes. I need to double dose. <sighs> Too hard to want to burst. Oh no, it's impossible. I will not submit to evil. Never. Well, your secrets let down, Jekyll. To the folks at home. What do you mean by that? Oh, shut up. You know what I'm talking about. Go dry that stupid. Well, I think that's a good time. To end this one, I thank you for coming here. No problem, I had a blast. And, everyone, if you want any of the characters to come back in an episode past the next one, so, comment down below which characters you would like to see make a comeback. Or, if you don't do that, I will just see which one which characters were the most popular? Alright, Jack and Let's just do your net. I hope you have a lovely day. Thank you, Mr. Hyde, for coming. It was my pleasure. I had a grand time. Usually, I'm absolutely bored out of my mind. But, for once, I had some entertainment today. Thank you very much. I enjoyed it quite. That was quite a nice thing for you to see. Thank you. No problem. Alright, Jekyll, let's it. Have a nice day. And we'll see what is happening to Dr. Jekyll in the next episode. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.